Hello and welcome to Art with Mr P. This week we're painting, so there are connections with science in terms of colour mixing. We're looking at different kinds of colours and their tints. And when I say tint, I mean a colour with white added. We're going to look at different kinds of shapes and we're going to do a bit of wax resist as well. Enough from me. Let's be creative. Let's have fun. Well, I'm going to start off by creating a series of horizontal lines. So I'm lining up the ruler with the edge of the page and then I continue up the piece of paper putting in ruler widths and I'm lining up the other edge of the ruler now with the line that I've just previously drawn. So I have a series of lines just about parallel with each other so they never meet yeah they're not at angles as neat as I can like that all fairly even and in each of these I would like you to draw a series of triangles so sometimes a triangle can be wide sometimes it can be not so wide sometimes it can be quite narrow Okay, so keep doing that until you've filled up the whole page. Make them as neat as possible. Now remember these lessons are just starting points. Keep going until you fill in the page. Then fill in each triangle with a colour, but each triangle needs to be a different tint of that colour. So <coughs> if I decide that mine is going to be blue, I might fill in the first triangle in that blue so first triangle blue now you want the smallest brush that you think you will need and now I'm going to add a bit of white to that and by adding white it becomes a tint so it's the same color but it's a tint of that blue and I'm going to add some more white It's the same colour, but it's a tint of that blue. Yeah? So essentially, tints are a colour with white in. So it's losing, it loses its intensity in a sense. Okay, so you keep going. Once you've filled in all your triangles, go back. Now this is where it gets really tricky because you've got to find, you've got to fill in the white ones. Yeah? So you're going to have to find a tint that is different from the ones beside it. Yeah? So that is slightly darker than the ones beside it. Now, what are you learning here? Well, you're learning about tints. A tint is a colour with some white in it. Remember to use enough water, otherwise everything gets a bit bogged down. A tint, oh, it's a bit clear, isn't it? A tint is a colour with white in it. But also what you're learning here is brush control. So keep going until you've filled them all in.
Now, it may be that I've put too many triangles on here for anyone's patience, yeah? So you don't need to do quite so many lines or so many triangles. But what we're looking for is a piece of paper covered in a broad range of tints. So I'm looking for as many tints as you think you can do on a single page like that. So keep going until you've filled up the whole page. If you still like it, do another one. Do it in a different colour. Fill up another sheet with tints of a different colour. What's really important from this is that you learn that a tint is a colour with white added to it. So it's a lighter version, as they say. Very good. So you fill a page with wax resist and uh, shapes and colours and their tints. Next week we're going to revisit collage. Now remember each of these sessions are just starting points. So if you can think of clever ways of taking this further, go for it. The more it becomes your work, the more imagination you put into it, the more creative you are and the more fun you have. So like I say, next week's collage. I'll see you then.